Hello everyone. So today we are continuing the curriculum review series with Masterbooks America Story Level 1. I have both the uh, student text and the teacher's guide. I'm going to give you guys a full look inside the teacher's guide, a little bit of a look inside the student text, and you guys can see if this is something that will work in your homeschool. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of the student text just so you can get an idea of what's inside, what it looks like, how engaging it is, and how much reading there is. Now, as you can see, it's filled with tons of beautiful photos that will engage your child and keep them entertained for the lesson. And now I'm gonna go on to the parent text so when you first open the teacher guide, you're gonna get some information about the curriculum and a little quip about the author. Then you are going to get a uh, using this teacher guide information section, a table of contents with a supply list, a note from the author on how to get started, what all um, you're going to come across in this curriculum. And then it jumps into your scope and sequence. So what you're going to do each day, each week, um, how many chap what chapters you're going to be covering and the pages. And then you're going to get a world map on this sheet and a map of the United States on this one. So at the time of filming, this they have two different options. So they have an ebook and a physical book. So for the student book, it is $34.39 for the physical copy, and for the ebook, it is $30.09. For the physical teacher guide, it is $26.39, and the ebook is $23.09. This is a 36-week curriculum and it's designed to do four to five days a week. This is a biblically based uh, history done with a Charlotte Mason approach. And this curriculum is designed to take about 45 minutes a day and is geared towards grades three through six. Now the time period that you're going to be covering in this history curriculum is gonna be from America's founding all the way to the gold rush. And within this book, as you can see, you're going to get all of your daily lessons, supply lists, ideas for additional study, suggested reading ideas, and an answer key. Now, in the student guide, the one that I just showed you previously to this book, you're going to spend about one to one and a half weeks covering a chapter. And the way the lessons work is the beginning of each week will start with a note to the parent or teacher about the upcoming chapter. And this is followed by a supply list that you're going to need for the week. And then it's going to have oral narration questions with the answers and optional digging activities on that week's topic. For older students, they do have um, a written narration section where your child will receive a question and your child can go and write what their response is. Now, the next activity will be to sketch something that you're learning about that week and answer whatever questions they have for that day. Sometimes this will be followed by a mini report or copy work, writing a letter, or various other activities. Then on day four, they will be doing some map exercises by labeling different places, finding different countries on a globe, creating their own map, and they will be finding some special words within the chapter and then looking up their meanings. Their final assignment for every week will be working on their timeline and answering a question about the period that they just learned about. Now, some additional activities that are sprinkled throughout the teacher's guide are word searches, copy work, some artist studies, writing an anti-slavery bill, writing a response to King George on why you think the tea tax is unfair, um, crossword puzzles, creating a coded message, create an explorer's nature journal, uh, an escape from slavery activity, a word scramble, uh, build a covered wagon out of a shoebox, uh, weekly prayers for my country, and just so many more. This is filled with tons of activities to keep your children engaged and make history fun. Now, there are reviews at the end of every nine weeks 
and these will be found at the back of the book. In conjunction with the reviews at the end of the book is where you will also find an answer key, a glossary with some geographical terms, and special project ideas. Now, there are six project ideas that your child can do throughout this curriculum. These projects are broken up to cover about five chapters at a time, and they are given multiple ideas for them. So they can choose to do some of them or even all of them. It's basically the sky is the limit with their imagination and how they wanna approach their projects. Now, some of these ideas look like getting a large piece of paper or a poster board and having your child draw or write what their favorite part of each chapter was, and then using their timeline characters and activity pages. They can do a show and tell. They can plan a first Thanksgiving skit. They can pretend to be William Penn planning their city of brotherly love and write a list of rules and city laws and then hold a special election for them, which I think is super fun since it's an election year. Uh, they can also create a flag for the family. They can pretend to be spies and crack one of the codes that they learned how to do. They can practice finding things in nature that they've never seen before. They can act out the story of the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, they can learn the Star Spangled Banner. They can pan for gold and make butter and just so, so much more. It's This is a very engaging curriculum. Now, here's the special projects ideas list that I mentioned. Do you see? <laughs> there are so many different ideas. And so your kids can really have a lot of fun with this. Now. After the project ideas, there are five different map projects that your child can do. And then they give you directions on that. There are also timeline activity cards that they can use for their timeline. And then at the back of this, they also have um, the years that they can use for their timeline as well. So it makes it very easy that they can just cut everything out and paste it somewhere. You guys don't have to go and look online for all of these things or create something on the computer. It's already done for you. And then this is the end of the book. So I'm going to go ahead and flip around the camera now. All right, everyone, that was the end of the flip through. I hope that you enjoyed seeing inside and just getting to see if this would work for your homeschool. Uh, if you found this video helpful or if you have used this curriculum before, let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what your experience was, what your pros and cons were, uh, or just where you're at with choosing your curriculum. Now, if you do need any help in the history department and you're not sure if you wanna go with this one or a different one. I will link a playlist up here that has uh, a review for Mystery of History Volume 1, Beautiful Feet Books, Early American History for the primary grades, as well as Beautiful Feet Books all around the world for the primary grades as well. And uh, that is it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you again later. Bye.